Tonight on the Nightly News, key stories from the unit.com include fixed pricing for alcohol ruled illegal, Italian Prime Minister presses David Cameron to pop the question, bureaucrats propose slashing of costly quangos, extra support to tackle poverty and starvation in Mozambique, plus our latest poll, what would you pay for EU membership? I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. Third, from our homepage, David Cameron's government's legal power was brought into question again recently. This second example of Westminster overruled came on Thursday last when the European Commission sent notice to our British government that fixed minimum pricing for alcohol was illegal. Now, we reported the week before last about the EU Commission slapping our Prime Minister back into his box over prisoners' voting rights. So what exactly are we paying Le Ministre de Premier £147,000 a year for if he hasn't got the power to act upon the will of the British people? Should I stay or should I go? That is the question being flailed at UK top dog David Cameron. Our technocratic masters in Brussels aren't happy. They've given Dave a ruffle round the bike sheds, but he's still refusing to hand over his lunch money. Now, Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti, well, appointed technocrat with no democratic mandate from the Italian people. <laughs> you see, we don't forget these things at the unit. So, Mario wants Dave to hold a referendum on the fundamental question. Now, two things come to mind here. Who does he think he is? If Mr Monti has no mandate in Italy, I'm certain he hasn't got one in Britain. And even if we did have a referendum, do you think anyone in Brussels would listen? Now that's not a multiple choice question. See recent Irish history if you're looking for a clue. Apparently, there have been international calls over the weekend for the EU to slash its empire on quangos. In all seriousness, this is a very important story as it really highlights how taxpayers' money gets burned on the Eurocratic bonfire. We've got plenty of detail and numbers in this story, but the bottom line is that you could scrap over half of them and never, ever notice the difference. Now, we'll keep an eye on this story in the future, but the links for you to read it are below. From our top 10 section, we look at an announcement by the EU Commission in Brussels to provide a new round of funding for Mozambique. An additional 67.3 million euros will be spent in an effort to fight hunger and malnutrition. Now, this is part of an overall package of 1 billion euros which is being used to fund the Millennium Development Goals. Now, the full article does make interesting reading and there are some good positive ideas for sustainability that have been proposed. I've put the links below. Finally, we'd like you to join in with our latest poll. How much would you pay per year for EU membership? As we've seen from the stories earlier, there is an annual cost involved with being part of the European Union and the EU Treasury believes that we should increase our contribution. Now, if you had to write a cheque from your bank account to pay for what we receive from the EU, just how much would you be willing to pay? We'll be doing a feature on the per-person costs of EU membership in the near future and it'll be interesting to see how your opinion of EU value compares. The voting panel is on our homepage and I've put the links below. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.